Okay, what you're going to see are uh, a lot of pictures that have been taken by Jen over the course of uh, the construction window when we started in May uh, for the library project. And then I'm going to talk to a, a number of different items uh, in support of the project. Um, but I'll go ahead and get started. Good morning. My name is Chris Coulter. I am the Director of Facilities here at the college. I was asked by Team Tut to speak this morning about the library project status and other aspects of the project. Uh, some interesting points about the library. The total new square footage at the library is 94,317 square feet, replacing the original Tut North and Tut South square footage of 91,501 square feet, so a total addition of, a, of nearly 3,000 square feet. The project includes five floors. There's a garden slash basement level up to a fourth floor level. The garden basement level is, is the largest square footage. It's about 28,260 square feet and the fourth floor uh, just under 10,000 square feet. Uh, the project started on May 17th of 2016. Uh, the renovation began in early August. Why did the renovation begin well after uh, what you saw in terms of the earthwork and the geothermal bore field installation is because of this word called asbestos and we took about 75 days to remove and abate the building so that contractors could get in there safely and work in a productive fashion. The renovation and the west addition are to be complete in the latter third of May of 2017. Uh, Tut South move-in date begins May 18th. I know there's an over-under on that right now with the, uh, with the library folks, so that's the date that, that I'm going with, May 18th of 2017. Uh, Tut South demolition will begin June 14th of 2017. Landscaping will begin in early June. Um, furniture move-in is complete by mid-June as well to accommodate those folks that are moving back in, whether they be from Tut South or over at the Coutures. Uh, and then the project is complete in mid-August or early August, better be early August, right, of 2017. Uh, Tut Library construction costs. Some of you might be interested in what we're spending over there. Uh, Tut Library construction cost per square foot is $311 per square foot. Uh, the 2015 National Campus Construction Report uh, library median costs were $342 per square foot, so we're a little bit under that. Four other libraries were construction, constructed in the United States in 2015. None of those libraries, however, were carbon neutral. Our library, as you know, is a zero carbon, carbon neutral uh, facility, which means the total annual carbon production in that building is what? Yeah, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Stay with me. All right, we've included four primary carbon reduction building components, the first of which is geo exchange. You may have seen the geo, uh, I would hope that you've seen the geothermal bore field that was being uh, started the construction in May. Uh, actually, the geo exchange is actually the largest contributor to us becoming carbon neutral at this building. It actually accounts for 43% of the 1,500 metric tons of carbon that we're trying to reduce over there or trying to nullify. Uh, we've got photovoltaics over there. That's going to be 19%. Uh, on top of the roof over there will be a, nearly 140 kW array. Uh, again, that's 19% of the carbon neutral portfolio. We have this other component called combined heat and power. I don't know how many of you have ever heard of cogeneration or combined heat and power. But CHP, what we call it, uh, refers to the simultaneous generation of electricity and useful heating from the combustion of natural gas. So in other words, we're creating electricity from natural gas. Well, why would we want to do that? Natural gas actually contains 20% of the carbon content of coal-fired electricity and is three and a half times cheaper. All things that are very, very good. You might want to install it in your house. I don't know. That sounds expensive. Um, uh, lastly, uh, we're participating in two community solar gardens and we're using the solar production in those solar gardens to actually offset the electricity generated by the facility. Uh, lastly, and also for comparison purposes, just a general anecdotal nature, uh, in Colorado, the average home, residential, we're comparing residential and commercial now, the residential home energy cost, which is the lowest in the country, I don't know if you know that, but in Colorado, we spend the lowest, um, the lowest cost for electricity and natural gas in the country. Uh, is about $1.31 per square foot per year. So in your house, that's what normal, you know, typical residential energy, natural gas and electricity costs are. 
The library project, for example, obviously a large commercial facility, is anticipated and designed to spend less than 50 cents per square foot for energy, uh, which, is a, which is a huge accolade to the, Mark and his team and the design team on this project. They've done a phenomenal job. Uh, if you have any construction-related questions about the Tut Library project, uh, please contact either myself or Rick Green. Rick Green's out there every day. He is the project manager, so I'm probably going to defer all those questions to Rick. Um, we'll be happy to get you the answers you need. Uh, we will certainly do that as, as expeditiously as possible. I want to thank you for your time and wish everybody a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you.